Portraiture is the area of photography that excites me most. It's a chance to look directly into someone's eyes and wonder what they've seen, what life has been like for them. For me, strong portraiture triggers questions and gives an opportunity to expand your personal understanding of the world we live in. My name's Simon Murphy and I'm a Scottish portrait photographer specialising in editorial portraiture. I'm also a lecturer in photography and I am the chair of the MPB Scottish Portrait Awards. So photography, photography changed my life. It became a chance to cross borders, to visit new places, to experience new culture and to meet fascinating people. And over the years, I've met so many interesting people photographing actors and musicians, artists and even world leaders. And what I found, where that really excited me, what I found though, that even just photographing the everyday person, the man in the street, offered that opportunity just to open horizons. And I found that the place where I lived for many, many years, um, there was so much culture there on my doorstep. So that's when I started to just turn my camera lens towards what surrounded me. And this is when the project Govan Hill began. It's a project I actually started around 20 years ago when I was at college, but I picked it up more recently because I wasn't traveling as much with work. Govan Hill is a very small area in the south side of Glasgow in Scotland. It's a very diverse, multicultural area. Um, I've had so much joy from photographing in countries all around the world that to turn my lens to this, this area again, Govan Hill, where I actually found a lot of that diversity right there on my doorstep, that became really exciting. So essentially the, the project is a portrait of the place, a place that is very dear to me and it consists mainly of street portraiture, chance meetings, people that I might pass in the street and see something in them that I respond to, and then I ask if I can make a portrait of them. Portraiture is the area of photography that, that does the most for me. It's the one that excites me the most. I think portraiture gives you a chance to look into someone else's life, uh, look straight into their eyes and consider perhaps what their life is like, maybe ask questions. And a strong portrait for me is one where it leaves you with questions, leaves you with something to think about and perhaps expands your own understanding of this world that we live in. Now, for much of my work, I photograph on a medium format film camera. I have been doing for years the project Govan Hill that I shoot. I started 20 years ago, so it just felt right to continue in the same way. I'm a bit of a creature of habit, so when I start a project in a certain way, with a certain process, I tend to continue on in that way. There's a lot of things I like about the medium format camera. One of the main things apart from the quality of the image that you get from it, it's just the ability to be separate from the camera. The camera, it's not over my eye, it's down here, so I can have direct communication with the subject as I photograph. Recently though, I have been thinking about a new project. And when I think about a new project, I think about the whole process, and that would include the camera. Which camera should I choose to photograph on? I have been looking to explore colour photography just a little bit more and also really impressed with the quality of images from new medium format digital cameras. So when I um, got this camera, this is the Fuji GFX100, I took it straight out of the box and immediately I hit the streets. So I had no idea how to use it. No idea at all. I didn't even know how to change the ISO on it. But because I'm used to shooting medium format film cameras, then I thought, well, all I really need is to change the aperture and the shutter speed. I did need to set the ISO, but I found it pretty quickly after that. And I thought, let's just 
give it a go. So that's what I did. This is the first time I've used um, a camera like this. I've not even had time to look where the aperture and, and shutter is. So I'm kind of kind of winging it here. Right, Lee, so we'll just, yeah, we'll just start nice and simple like this. I'm just going to get a little bit more of you in the shot. That's brilliant already, that's brilliant. The camera feels quite, quite old school in a sense, you know, there's not too many, there doesn't seem like too many functions on the face of it, which is good because when I'm working with a medium format camera, it's aperture shutter, that's it. And so that's, it's not over complex. Brilliantly. Again, go for the side on, um, the chin quite, quite high, that's good. Even though the lighting conditions might be nice and bright, where I can get a fast shutter speed, often I shoot in the tripod for a portrait because it's, it's more for me about the interaction between the subject and myself. So for this portrait here, you know, I like to be able to speak to Lee or whoever's, whoever's there rather than being behind the camera and hidden. I think sometimes the camera's a bit of a barrier and so that's why I use the tripod, but this is great with the, the little screen here. So I can just pop it out and see what I'm seeing. I'm pressing buttons here. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm pressing, but um, things are looking okay. Things are looking well. All right, hold that, Lee, and just uh, straighten your fingers. Just like, that's it, hold that. I'm just going to see how close I can get. Because this is something I can't do with my medium format camera, with the Mamiya. So I'm delighted this year to take over as chair of the MPB Scottish Portrait Awards. And um, as part of that, I've managed to bring in judges such as Margaret Mitchell, Garçon John, Albert Watson as well. So we're delighted to be able to do that. Now, we're going to be looking at portraiture and excited to see the variety and the amount of portraits that come in. And people do ask, what my opinion is about what makes a strong portrait. And it's a really, really difficult question to answer because what does make a strong portrait? Sometimes you can look at the technical aspects of a portrait and there's something about the way it's been constructed that just looks incredible and feels right. So sometimes it's a pin sharp photograph um, with beautiful lighting. But there's other times when a portrait might be out of focus, have a bit of motion blur in it, but it just captures an energy and an emotion that touches and, and opens up perhaps more of a story. And so for me, there is there are no rules when it comes to what makes a great portrait. What I do think though is that the photographer, it's really important that that portrait connects with them. It makes them feel something, something strong. Whether that could be a profound moment a serious moment, or whether it's a moment of joy that the photographer has been involved in and is able to capture that uh, on their camera. For me, that's the starting point. Do you feel something when you've made that photograph? And the next thing is, well, how does it make other people feel? When you show that image to others, do they remember the image? Uh, does it provoke some kind of response in them? Can you see that in the, in the viewer's face? because photography isn't just about the photographer, but it's about the subject, the sitter, but it's also about the person that's viewing that image. So how does it make you feel?